What is happening there, Reject Nation? Tara Erickson is back with wicked me it, today. It. After I covered in Kanto, so many people were like, you gotta do Turning Red next. And I was like, okay, it's a movie about like a 13 year old girl. That's all I pretty much know, something to do with a panda. I need someone who's really in touch with her youth. So I brought my 55 year old friend, Tara Erickson by to watch us. You excited, Tara? Yeah, I am excited. You can see how young I am by these overalls. That I <laughs> yeah, it really captures the, the 1950s you grew up in. God, Guys, leave a like if you can. That'd be very much appreciated. Also, full-length watch-alongs. We sync up with the time code for Turning Red. will be at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have joined us over there so far. Your support means a lot. Follow Tara Erickson on all the crap that yeah. I've linked in the description box and pinned comment. She's only here for attention. Let's do it. And the Prepper Boys, thanks for helping us edit this down. Now let's really do it. The number one rule in my family, honor your parents. The least you can do in return is every single thing they ask. <laughs> Be careful. Honoring your parents sounds great, but if you take it too far, well, you might forget to honor yourself. Very true. True. Luckily, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Go. It's like the cast of Euphoria. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's heaven. <laughs> My mom cuts his hair at the salon, and I felt it. It's very soft. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a hobo. A hot hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I miss boy bands. Never not on the mind. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm never not by your side. <laughs> and here's your reward. 99 Australian tour. OMG, Mir. I'll guard with my life. Did they say OMG in 1994? Uh, I don't think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Clueless was like in the 90s. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Of course they said OMG. What is wrong with me? <laughs> That's such a common thing. <laughs> it doesn't mean doing whatever I want. Now, ah, responsibilities, man. I have responsibility. Yeah. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Check it out. Oh, that's my little scholar. The ancestors would be so proud. Our most revered ancestor, Sun Yi, was a scholar, poet, and defender of animals. Ever since, the red panda has blessed our family with good fortune and prosperity. And it can bless yours, too! I'm sorry you grew up white. <laughs> Can't relate to any of this. <laughs> Come on, Dad's making dinner. Ooh! Disney knows how to make food look so, so good, good every freaking time. I'm like, are we in Ratatouille again? Yeah, now look how delicious that looks. Oh, why are we not eating right now? Four down. We'll be taking off their North American tour. <gasps> oh my gosh. Who are these hip hoppers? And why are they called Four Town if there are five of them? <laughs> Wow, she erases into the trash. Wow. <laughs> she really is an A-type personality. I don't get what Mir sees in him. He's not that cute. Okay, his shoulders are kind of nice. His eyes are... Oh, no. It's just no. infatuation, man. <laughs> It's not going to last, It's not going to last. You're not even an adult yet, man. <laughs> oh, my God. She's glad close from Fatal Attraction. <laughs> Do you want a snack? Cool. Great. Thanks. Don't look at the notebook. <laughs> Is this your 
Mr. Holmwood? Oh. Uh, don't. Oh, my. What? Mimi! What is this? It's nothing. Just the boy. He's A no boy? one. boy? Who is he? Did he do these things to you? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that hat. Is that the sketchy clerk from the Daisy Mouse? Mom! Oh, my oh, God. What? Shite. Oh, my God. It's gonna get violent. It's a sweet, innocent child. How dare you take advantage of her? Mom! No! What are you thinking, Mom? God, Mom. Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> why is he a mermaid? <laughs> this will never happen again. No, oh, girl. But it will. Toronto, man. Some repressed shit up in there. <gasps> Oh my god. What, what is, is this Lovecrafty and crap? Thing. What is going on here? <gasps> oh my god, it's begun. Are you sick? Is it a fever? A stomach ache? Chills? Constipation? <laughs> Did the red peony bloom? No! Huh. What? Maybe? <gasps> but it's too soon. Don't worry, Mei Mei. I'll get everything you need. Oh, st oh I just got it. <laughs> I was like, come on, Greg. Catch up. I'm a gross red monster! <laughs> I have ibuprofen, vitamin B, a hot water bottle, and pads. Cool, uh, I love that Pixar's doing this. Uh, <laughs> Did not expect this. Nothing <laughs> to be embarrassed about. Mom, please. You are now a beautiful, strong flower. I never thought I'd see a Pixar movie where they have that conversation. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. Blows my mind. Woke. Woke, woke Hollywood, <laughs> talking about things every woman goes. <laughs> Calm, Sun. Yes. So the pandas is just a big metaphor for female puberty. I, I don't know. <laughs> Extra snacks and herbal tea for cramps. It helps relax your. I got it. Thank you. Bye. There's so much I could learn as a man from this movie. Maybe the red panda is who she actually is. <laughs> and this is just a front <laughs> for her mother. God. <laughs> Tyler is an insecure jerkwad. End of story. Ooh. Huh. Oh, there you go. <gasps> uh, May, <gasps> why are you staring at Carter Murphy Mayhew? I wasn't. No. Tyler keeps putting these up. What? They're everywhere. Oh. Really go away. I'm going to kill him. Leave her alone. It's like the movie Black Swan. Ha! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god. Tell him you forgot your pants. Oh, red panda. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Maybe. I gotta get home. Gotta hide. Be careful. Uh. <laughs> What's happening to me? <laughs> what is it? What? What? <gasps> What's happened already? Already? What did you say? You know, a little warnings would have been very beneficial. Our ancestor, Sun Yi, had a mystical connection with red pandas. She loved them so much that she asked the gods to turn her into one. The gods granted her wish. They gave her the ability to harness her emotions, to transform into a powerful mystical beast, protect her village, and save her family from ruin. 
Cool. Sun Yi passed this gift to her daughters, and they passed it to theirs. But over time, our family chose to come to a new world. And what was a blessing became an inconvenience. <laughs> yeah. A little heads up would have been nice. Yeah. It happened to me. You'll undergo a ritual that will seal your red panda spirit into one of these. You only have one chance to banish it, and you cannot fail. Otherwise, you'll never be free. Hmm. Be the 25th. That's a whole month away. We'll wait it out together, and I will be with you every step of the way. You have to accept your emotions. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's us. Open up. <gasps> no. Guys, what are you doing? Go away. Are you okay? Tap if you can hear us. Look for yes, two for no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Four times coming to Toronto! What? Ah! 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 Shh, calm down, right? I'm gonna let go and you're gonna be chill. Got that? <laughs> chill. Ah. Hey. I hate this. I'm, I'm sloppy, I'm, I'm smelly. My mom won't even look at me and you know, Four Town, just go. Go become women without me. Oh, that's sad. I'm never not by your side, your side, your side, or die. All right! We love you, May. You're our girl. Yeah, no matter what, panda or no panda. They adjusted her being a panda remarkably really fast. Really quick. <laughs> yeah. hey. You're you! And you look amazing! Red looks so good on you. Is it gone? For now, but if I get too excited, it'll come right back out. Uh -huh. Something feels different. Abby, hit me. Oh. <laughs> you can come with us to Four Town. Yeah. yeah. Huh? I can't ask my mom. I'm a furry digging time bomb. Mm -hmm. Crap. You guys better go. But no buts, Mir. My mom already doesn't like you. Wait, she doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Ready. Said ring it in. Your second place spelling bee trophy. <sighs> the important thing is you try. You spelled your little butt off. First place in our hearts. Oh, she needs nurturing. <laughs> no, so fuzzy. Resist. We love we you, love girl. You, girl. Panda or no panda? Just go to the concert as a panda. When I start to get emotional, all I do is imagine the people I love most in the whole world, which is you guys. Oh. Oh, mm. I just have one teeny tiny favor to ask. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I just want to broaden my musical horizons. Oh, and it's not worth jeopardizing your life over. Right, Jin? Uh... See, your father agrees. No concert. God damn it, Dad. There's no way she could keep her panda in. And, and $200? Unbelievable. I saw that look. Where did she get Where? that from? <laughs> Treating her own mother like that. Me? It's your mother. I'm not here. <gasps> it's generational. I know about Mei Mei. I was just about to call you. No one knows anything. They barely saw her. I'm on my way. With reinforcements. No! I can handle it! I can... Ugh. You guys need to stand up to your moms, Ooh. man. Sometimes she's just so... Uh, so... Wacko? <laughs> Little mama's girl. <laughs> no wonder May is such a loser. <laughs> Eat him! Come on! Eat Come him! On, red panda! Ah. Yeah! Ah. Ah. Ha ha! If they don't trust us anyway, then what's the point? Wow. This is our first step into womanhood. We'll say it's a sleepover at my house. My mom will never know. Now we just gotta raise the money for tickets. Come on, girls, think! Karaoke. Use the panda. A little panda. Abby, come on, May. It'll clear my mind. Haha. <laughs> Mon amour. <laughs> Why are they mermaids? <laughs> <laughs> OMG! Ah! Go away! Hey, 
Wait, she's like a magical bear? Red, Red panda. panda! Get it right. I'll give you anything! Money! My kidney! My soul! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Monetize the panda! Yeah! No, oh, no. What? Oh my god, I want those sticky earrings. Those are 90s, Craig. I know, right? That felt like a real song from the 90s. Mom is gonna look under the bed and it's all gonna go to shit. <sighs> when she's just learning to embrace herself. I mean, I love it, but find a better spot than under the bed. Looking good. Nice cast. Are you a triangle? Because you were cute. I want to throw a sick birthday party, an epic one. If you're there, everyone will come. Simple as that. I've done you a favor keeping my mouth shut. All I'm asking for is one back. You're a manipulative little tick. You know that, man? Do it. Tylers are always jerks. Nice. 200 bucks will put us over the top. Hey, dork bag, we're in. Okay, I'm heading off to Mathletes. Wouldn't you rather hang with Dad? Mm. Let's get my flashcards. Oh, but, crap. Uh, but I don't want you to! Hi, Nelly. Oh, shit. Oh, they want to see their. Oh, no, it's scrap. Oh, God. You better guess that party, man. Oh God, run! Each time you do, the stronger it gets, and then you'll be bound to it. Your mother and I were close once. I couldn't bear to see that happen to you. So no more panda. I wasn't the panda. You are your mother's whole world, Meme. I know you'll do what's right. Oh, jeez, constantly guilted, man. Hey, Tyler, you want the panda? You're getting the panda. Let's hear it for the Oh, my God. No bueno, man. <laughs> Mimi needs a strong hand now more than ever. Don't let her out of your sight. I won't, Mother. <sighs> it's not the panda, girls. It's your possessive nature. <sighs> right? Is that yeah. Is that what I was trying to say? Okay, good. <laughs> Picking up on things. I'm a man, so I don't understand things. You're getting closer. Uh, see, under the bed, like I said, it's not a good spot. Oh. <gasps> Our grades are failing. Uh oh. What? Mimi, what is all this? <laughs> we are walking into that concert, girls, and coming out, women. Guys, I can't be like this forever. My whole family would freak, especially my mom. All her hopes and dreams are pinned on me. No. Four towns the same night as the ritual? No! The same night? The same night? You want your money? Then get your butt down here now. Go back to your psycho mom and, and your creepy temple, you freak. Oh, you little racist. Uh, Mimi, stop! Mimi? What is going on here? I am so sorry. We having parties She's never to done have anything good fun. like this before. I don't no, know no, what no, came no. over I don't her. want to hear your sorry. apology. Okay. Okay. No one mentioned this is a horror movie, man. <gasps> we just wanted to see Four Town. Four Town? You manipulated her for a bunch of tacky delinquents? No, she wanted to. Don't you blame her. She is a good girl. And you've taken advantage of her. May, tell her. Oh, May, speak up. Leaving her friends in the dust. If 
you gotta kill your mom. How many tickets? Three, please. What is that? Um, I think it's coming from the Sky Dome, Mother. Four is the worst number. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hurry up, everyone. It's almost time to start the ritual. The red moon is about to begin. <laughs> oh, Dad, buy her the tickets. People have all kinds of sides to them, eh? The point isn't to push the bad stuff away, it's to make room for it. This side of you made me laugh. Aww. It's kind of horrifying. And return the red panda spirit from where it came! Oh. Oh. <gasps> now destroy Toronto. Hmm. What is going on over you? Get a hold of her. Oh, no. Don't do this. Stop. Stop. Oh, God. No. Oh my God. I'm going to the concert. Uh oh, is mommy's red panda gonna come out now? This is a disaster. Uh oh, uh oh. She's out of control. Oh yeah. Oh snap. Panda wars. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's dope. <laughs> You never needed to buy a ticket! Losing you guys feels even worse. Well, too bad. Board Town forever. Board Town Board forever. Town forever. Oh. Tyler? Yeah. Uh, no! Tyler? I don't know what to are a four townie? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? What's she gonna do? Ground me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my What is happening? <laughs> they are gonna destroy Toronto. Oh my god, it's not gonna be them, it's gonna be our mom. <laughs> this is so unexpected. <laughs> Who knows what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Tyler was with them. <laughs> what is going on right now? Oh, did it on my own. Baby! Oh. Is this my <laughs> Whoa. Hey, hey! We have to save your mother. She's got a lot of Hey, we have to do the ritual again. Oh, what happened? She's huge! I told you she was big! That's how she should be. Oh, made. God. I'm shutting this down right now! Everyone, go home! Where are your parents? Put some clothes on! <laughs> hmm? Mimi, keep her busy. Oh, I'll keep her busy. Where's Jim? Jim! Hey, keep her in the circle! This finale is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mom, you have to get in the circle. Sunny, give me strength. Oh my God! Poor Mimi. Grandma, I am not losing my daughter. Don't just stand there. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Sky babe. Oh 
thought you was crack. Uh, <laughs> <This is> a... <laughs> I, I hurt her. Who? My mom. I, I got so angry and I and I lost control. Oh, that's what her scar's from. Ladies, may Sun Yi guide you and keep you safe. Mei Mei's keeping the panda? It's her life. You guys did so much property damage. <laughs> the farther you go, the prouder I'll be. People still talk about Panda Apocalypse 2002. <laughs> you ready? Let's do this. Hello! Welcome, Welcome to our temple! And the only one that's home to the Great Red Panda. Monetize your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back before dinner, okay? Fine. Oh, um, you're welcome to join us. <gasps> for Mr. Lee's yes. cooking? Uh, yes. yeah! You don't load up on junk! Oh, thanks for covering for me, Dad! Mm -hmm. We've all got a messy, loud, weird part of ourselves hidden away. And a lot of us never let it out. But I did. How about you? I'm Batman. <laughs> I got real snotty there. Uh, there's a point out where I was real, really crying there. I'll get you uh, some toilet paper. I think my fingers will do in these overalls. <laughs> Every movie I watch lately, I end up crying. Everything? Every movie, yeah. White chicks. <laughs> Why do they feel the need to disguise themselves? <laughs> <laughs> Did you like it? I did. It wasn't a typical like Pixar <laughs> movie. It took a second, it was a little slow, but I liked it. I liked the message at the end. That slow. little repressed bully. Slow? Like in slow. the beginning, you know in Pixar movies, it literally takes them two minutes for you to super care about the the lead character. They usually do something this... really traumatic to make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is like the atypical like Disney thing. We get it. This just took a different path, but I enjoyed it. I think that's why I called it slow in the beginning. Because I was like, well, where is this going? And I think there was more opportunities for jokes in the beginning, but I liked it. It's a different kind of Pixar movie, and I enjoyed it. It's weird. They do things that maybe aren't as, like, traumatically heft, I would say. Right. Yet, there is a certain type of more, I think, relatable type of trauma that a lot of us oh, go yeah. through as adults that we don't realize. It's funny because I was, I was just speaking with a friend of mine uh, yesterday at the, the Moon Knight premiere. Mm-hmm. Marvel. Cool. Just saying, I gotta I tend to that. Ah! <laughs> Along with a gazillion. I'm like, other where movies. is he going with this very long pause? <laughs> Nobody had any idea. It's the I went to the thing and um I was talking to my friend Wendy. Wendy Lee from the movie couple channel. I'm half Asian and I grew up with my Asian family. And then Wendy's full Asian. One thing I was we were talking about was like I've never seen such a different type of generational gap, like a specific type than with a lot of, and maybe it's just because I grew up Asian, uh, but with like Asians from Asia and then like Asian Americans or, mm. or, be, or, or Toronto, <laughs> right? Because the culture is just so different of like, it's so disciplinary and hardcore. And I, and I think that it, it goes further beyond than just like Asian culture in this. Like this is something that I think a lot of people struggle with, but that whole conundrum of, of uh, you know, like a lot of times, you know, if you're not from Asia, you know, I imagine it still happens in Asia too, but I, everyone out here that I always meet has that same thing of like, my parents were like this, and I feel the need to like be more expressive and be myself and get in touch with my emotions and not just go down the path my parents want me to go down. And that's a common type of argument I see happen. Or it's the other side where they do feel like they go down that path that they don't really want to. I'm yeah. not saying all Asian parents are bad or something. It's just something I, I notice around here in California. And so seeing it represented here was uh, interesting, but I think they still managed to make it universal because I think we all know what it's like oh, to yeah. feel like we have to just be obedient to our parents. I mean, it was pretty obvious with like the, even though Tyler wasn't in it a lot, but he is the bully that was like a suppressed 
like with all this yeah. repressed anger, a bully, and then he turns into one of their like one of the girls, and he likes uh, O Town. I keep I want to say O Town. It's Four Town, but it's modeled after O Town from two thousand and one. Yeah, you guys remember O Town, and I'm like, oh, that's the perfect example of like Tyler was like, you know, he's a bully because he had all this like repressed stuff. I think. Disney Pixar especially has been dealing a lot with re- generational repression. Mm-hmm. That's why I just just watched in Can- you've seen Encanto, right? Yeah. And like that had the same thing. Like, yeah, the, that was the same. Blood, the grand, yep. grandma lineage. <laughs> and yep. like, oh, it stems from there of trying to satisfy and please or go down a certain path. But a lot of it is re- leads to unintentionally forcing your children to repress the way they feel it's like this yeah. lately it's like this message of like psychological embrace and accept yourself has <laughs> been like a lot of the message i think I don't know, i've seen people sometimes say with this movie i've only i didn't know what it was actually about me but neither I, but i've heard some of the things of like ah, it's not as universally accessible I'm usually hearing this from men and I thought mm-hmm. that, like, okay, so what is it? No, just it is. Did but you I, not no, experience emotions feel, yeah. as, like, a teenager? <laughs> I'm like, and, I still think this is re- yeah. pretty relatable, even for me. I'm like, no, there's a lot I can relate to in this. And, oh, like, wanting yeah. to please your parents when you're young and wanting to, and, like, sexual hormones. And you like yeah. boys and you don't want to, like, express it because everyone's like, try to tap that down. It's <laughs> yeah. awkward. Yeah. Yeah, this is very, re- it just is not as, like, I guess, uh, what, what does it need to be, like, spelled out so that it looks looks like how you need it to look how you looked when you were a teenager it's called metaphors <laughs> yeah i think there's a, like i was more interested in in those correlations than i was the you know anything with like the actual ritual of the panda and stuff i like right. i liked everything it represented i liked everything it metaphorically talked about it was like amusing but i wasn't that into that whole goal of like we got to go to four town like that part right. wasn't that engaging was, to me. Right. But I was going, it probably means something deeper <laughs> than, yeah. than just going to see the band, right? I think some people might check it because I had to remind myself that like there's probably a much deeper meaning to this whole action of making sure she's going to go to this concert, you know? And, right. And like how she's going about it too. The journey of, you know, embracing herself and accepting herself. Doing what she wants to do is really what it's about. But yeah, that whole ending scene with the panda in the mirror dimension or whatever the hell that was. Yeah. It was really, it was really beautiful. It was really making me a really misty eye. I was really crying a lot there. So yeah. It's, it's a good message. It's really I good mean, message. it's like all of the generations up to her mom, like uh, you can see that they're all pretty much kind of the same person followed a path. Yeah. Didn't find themselves. And then she did. And then she meets with her ancient ancient grandma who's like i didn't follow that path either well i think it worked best as like this like slice of life thing that had this larger than life fantasy quality with the panda Mm -hmm. i like the simplicity of that yeah so when it got like really big in the end i felt like the message started getting a bit Mm, muddled know, a little bit a tiny bit it except just... where they all went back to being without the panda except for her yeah yeah so they let her have her own choice so yeah like it made sense to me it just got, when it got so big and like like a kaiju battle you yeah, know <laughs> i agree it was sort of like where where this is a, a little out of tone i guess tonally like yeah. it was a little like i i don't know if it was needed to be that large i don't think it needed to go that big i was i didn't like felt like they needed it like adventure and we needed to be big and then she needs to like almost die and then we have to like pull her back and o-town comes back and apparently there's still kids behind the rubble (laughs) like that were like we saw all these like big pandas and one the one almost die and they were like we knew o-town would come back they're like peeking out i was like all right that's a little that's a little weird. It was still very entertaining, though. It was entertaining. Like, it was amusing. And it was cool to look at. But I did start getting, like, oh, I feel like it's kind of losing some of the, the part of the heart of it that I really love. The magic was the, the simplicity of it. While I agree, like, yeah, it's a really, like, pretty simple story. And it's mm-hmm. not something that... Because they usually, like Pixar, when they want to go weighty, are going like really existential, like Wally or some shit. Yeah. Or, or they go like really just, like traumatic opening, like up. Yeah. You know, like really get you hard. Oof. There is a post credit scene. <laughs> you know it does, yeah. Oh. We got it. Dad's like Tyler. He's, he's still a little repressed, but... Yeah, he was a bully. 
<laughs> Alright, we'll finish reviewing it in three, two, one. So dad likes Four Town too. Who wouldn't like Four Town? I know, everybody. I thought it was gonna be more 90s leaning, because like they said in 94. And I thought it would be like... Oh, it is? Yeah, at the beginning I... it's a 94, and that's why there was the boy. Oh, okay. Tara's so old, she thinks NSYNC came out like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Backstreet Boys is still around, right? <laughs> Genie in a Bottle from Christina, it just came Ooh, out. <laughs> baby. Those are good songs. Those are great songs. Those are great bands, man. Great bands, okay. Now it's all about K-pop. Which is great, <laughs> but, great, which is great. Actually, it's a lot ways more impressive, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, it's weird. Like this guy has a good critic score and I saw the audience had like a pretty big divide with it. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I guess it's just not like, I wouldn't say it's like bottom tier. I mean, it's not top tier Pixar for me, but mm -hmm. it's not, I want to be like it's bottom tier. It's no, like, it's pretty good. It's like I feel like people just don't so. get metaphors, or they don't like understand the the message there. Like maybe mom didn't need to change into a panda. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it needed to be like the kid stays, but her and mom come together. I mean, we all knew that her and mom would come together in the end. Yeah. And I feel like uh, I don't know. I I don't know why people wouldn't. I feel like if you make it through to the end of the movie. You you have to be like yeah. There's a good message there. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't they didn't want mom to like go go back to who she was, even though she didn't fully. But she did make the choice to be without her pen and keep it in, like all the rest of them did. Yeah, they kept it in a gray area. Yeah. Which I, yeah. I appreciate the gray area. Yeah. Because. Um, so like if mom was like, no, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm going to stick by my daughter and also keep the panda. I'm like, no, that would be out of character. Yeah. Not saying that that's what people wanted, why they didn't like the movie. They probably just didn't like it for other reasons, but. Well, I could see why people wouldn't like it because of the fact, I think there's the, the, the thing of it's Pixar. So you kind of add a little bit more critical eye on what you expect. What you expect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it does follow, it, this does not follow the tropes of Pixar. No, and it doesn't have right. quite the, the like, this is more like the onward category. Like you've seen onward. Yes. Yeah, like like, like yes. onward or something. Yeah. Um, but not something like Soul. <laughs> right. Yeah, which it, like those are like it's like elevated Pixar. You yeah. Know? And while I think this it go it still has the impressive animation and really great voice work and stuff. Um, yeah, for the most part, I felt like I don't. I really think it's beautiful to look at. At the mm -hmm. same time, I'm not like I needed to have seen this in the theaters. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. But it's still uh, good. I still recommend it. Like, I yeah. I recommend it. I think there's so much great things in it. It's also funny a lot of the time, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, I mean, what's that movie about where they're angry and they're the marbles that represent anger? Inside Out. Thank you so much. That movie, I was like, oh, I wish I would have seen this in theaters because I don't think yeah. I watch it on my, on my TV. That, I feel very strongly, like, that movie's... I feel more strongly connected to like maybe those classic of like mm -hmm. Pixar's. I mean, obviously all the other ones. Like Up, I can't even, I can't watch that movie more than, uh, more than twice. I will never watch it again. It's one of my most favorite movies, but yeah, I'm like, good. it's too emotional for me. But um, this, I don't think I'd be like, click on it and be like, I'm gonna watch it again. But I think I would tell people to be like, oh, you should definitely watch it to be, to get the message. Yeah. And see a different thing from Pixar and what they can do. Because the message is still there. And Pixar is very good at giving lessons, I think. And, you know, it, it's, it is interesting. I, I don't know, like, to me, it just threw me, like, for a loop. Mm -hmm. When they are talking about, like, reproductive quality. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so used to seeing yeah. that, I guess, now, right, in, in typical movies with real well, like people. Like a kid's that's movie? Not You're not be, yeah. And like a kid's animated movie. I'm like, it's PG. And I'm like, okay, that makes more sense. But right. I, because when you are talking about, like, going, like, going, like, because it, it's also like a big puberty metaphor, this whole film. Yeah. Like, this is, yeah. it's not even just a metaphor. It's just that's what's happening. She's going through puberty. Right. <laughs> and so when they are talking about that, it's, you know, I, I could see how the context of, the whole panda thing is all representative of that one especially when they make totally. the scene the introduction scene of that about her having a period like right. the mom's registering what's happening right and to me to just the fact that they're even having that discussion in, in an animated kids movie was like oh i 
did not expect this movie to even bring up such a subject. You right. know, like it was it was surprising. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know if that like upsets certain oh. groups of the internet. I don't want to like right. spend forever trying to dissect like what do people like. Uh, but I was I was actually I give it credit for um, being willing to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm desensitized as I watch so many things, and there's so many films out there that I guess like 13 year olds aren't watching, but maybe like teenagers could watch where they do deal with like, oh, someone helping the girl out with their period, and it's awkward for mom or dad, they don't yeah. have to deal with it. But um, I guess in an animated, it's like everyone goes to see Pixar, or Pixar is regarded as safe, and they don't do too many topics, at least not as of like, and maybe until now, that mm -hmm. are like, reaching that like puberty and stuff like that where she's like all the details uh, of it all physically. the details yeah. of it and her drawing yeah. like him and getting like heated and yeah, yeah and them talking boys and yada 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 uh yeah i guess you're right i'm like oh that's weird that they haven't done that until now where it's more in your face which this one was yeah obvious so i'm thinking about it in terms of like the, if i saw it on like anything else i would be like okay <laughs> yeah, all, but uh, for this. For like a Disney yeah, Pixar right. anime, I'm like, oh wow, they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. They um, did it. Yeah, that's why I said in the 90s because she could just access the internet for all her freakish, you know, oh, right. furry desires. Right. And mermaid desires. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to go on my phone and <laughs> look online and some, some, some max free websites yeah. here. <laughs> they, had to limit, they had to limit themselves. <laughs> uh, I did think the. The friends, I love what the friends represented as a mm -hmm. support group and what it feels like to have your friends as family but not feel like the ones you could really love and feel the love and trust from is your your actual family. I think that's a really relatable thing. Yeah. Like, while I watch this, I, I can definitely be like, yeah, it's definitely more targeted towards a female audience than someone like me. <laughs> At the same time, I'm like, all the emotional things, the context of all the emotional surroundings, I think are very relatable for, for men. Yeah. Who don't just go, anger, <laughs> don't yeah. push it down, you uh. know? <laughs> Feel the need to cry once in a while. Mm -hmm. Like a real man. Yeah. Oh, God. K-pop. Yeah. Mm. Say so you get ladies. Is it? Mm -hmm. Just the, the smooth. That and say you cry. I cry. <laughs> <laughs> ladies. <laughs> I cry. I think it works. Everybody's wet out there. <laughs> yeah. With emotions from their eyes. Yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's what she meant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's, We're not gonna get demonetized. No, no, no. Over yeah, no, it's one what, stupid joke. Here. It's but from the eyes, duh. I Listen mean, to and nose. Me, when you cry a lot, you, it's wet on attention. your face. Wet all in your face everywhere is what I meant. And that doesn't sound good either. So no, we'll just stop. We'll just stop. We'll just, it's stop all just stop hot, saying wet. Stop it. Stop saying wet, and we'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna change subjects. You can make a panda cinematic universe of this. <gasps> First in Kung Fu Panda. Oh. Yeah. 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 What you like meeting? They could no. That's yeah, they cross over. Two different They did it with the Spider Man. <laughs> they can do it with the pandas. One is universal <laughs> and one is Disney. They'll never come together. Is Kung Fu Panda Universal? Yeah. Pretty Dreamworks sure. Dreamworks Universal. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. All right, well. There's your lesson for today, Universal versus Disney. I give it like a 7.8 out of 10. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I'll give it a seven out of 10, that's even though you didn't ask. I think he wanted me to give probably a rating or he was like, forget it, <sighs> you know. I felt you, that once the man has stated the Yeah, the, the rating, case, you the, don't the, need the consensus. The woman. Do we really yeah. need your Do just we really need her falls input? Falls on deaf ears at that right. point. <laughs> sure, I get it. No big deal. Seven out of 10. Okay, I hope whatever that peaked. makes you feel better. Hope that peaked in there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right? So they'll, yeah. Listen, guys, uh, uh, follow Tara on her social media. Yeah. She has to drive home now. Cool. I got a way. It's <laughs> going to be like an yeah, hour and a half. It's going to be like a long drive. LA traffic, baby. <laughs> Here for it. Um, Hey, but Tara, can you help me do a...
Mm-hmm. Tara, can you shout out yeah. our friend Deontay, aka Tongue Punch Fart Box? D D D Deontay Tongue Punch Fart Box? Tongue Tongue <laughs> Punch <laughs> Box Deontay What a potential for sure, but no. Is that good? I think. Is that good? I think out of all the times we have tried to find inventive ways to shout out Tongue Punch Fart Box, not once did we actually try to do. Wow, they did it. Actually try to do a Tongue tell- Punch Fart Box with my mouth. All right, Deontay, you need that to come over to my Patreon, brilliant. baby, now. Leave them just for a week. Give wow. me the one monthly payment, then you can come right back. Just, you know, because I understand you, and maybe they <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, you do. I, apparently not. Maybe they don't. I thought we had something, but clearly we have grown apart, and yeah. now you... I'm locking uh, it down. You guys got to share your tongue punch <sighs> fart boxes. Thank you, Deontay. <laughs>